and welcome to Learning Bricks CAD, the course overview. So my name is Ron Myers and we are going to be spending some time here learning Bricks CAD. In the meantime, I want to give you a brief overview of how to navigate the course structure, access the data sets and exercises. So on the navigation page on the left hand side, you will see links to each of the nine learning modules. Within each module will be either three or more lessons, and each lesson basically points to a landing page. And you can navigate that way, or you can use the standard uh, right and left buttons to navigate forward and back in the course. So navigating to the next page, three, you'll see the course objectives, and then moving on, the instructions, the supported browsers, this video that you're currently watching and then at the bottom of the page the course data sets click that link and extract the data sets to a folder of your choosing and uh, that is the location where you're going to be accessing the files throughout this course okay so as you land on the first page of every lesson you'll see a link to a video the video is going to contain an example of the exercise being done and we'll also cover the key concepts and other things that you need to understand to complete the exercise and then the link for the hands-on exercise to the right of that and then a tab and additional tabs to take a deeper dive into content returning to the main lesson page when I click the link to launch the video it's going to launch a new page and I have the opportunity to watch a video of the lesson and concepts. And once completed, go ahead and close that page and return to the main page and click Hands-on Exercise. This will launch the exercise page. There will be at least one hands-on exercise for every lesson. And this content is completely responsive. So as I scale the browser and push it off to the side of the screen, you'll notice that all of the graphics scale, the text scale, and it makes it very easy uh, to position the content in a way that makes it very easy to interact with or switch between the uh, course content and the application. So returning back to a full screen mode here, we'll close the exercise. And again, just to give you an idea, each lesson will contain a listed set of objectives along with the enabling objectives and performance support material on the tabs secondary to the main tab. Also, as you're progressing each lesson at the end of each module, you'll be given the opportunity to take a review, some review questions. Simply answer the questions and click Submit. If you get the answer correct, it'll be shown correct. If you get the answer incorrect, you'll be asked to try again. If for some reason you do not wish to take all of the assessments, no problem, just click the Continue Navigation option and your questions will be saved and uh, you can always go back to that module later. This completes the overview video for Learning BricksCAD.